and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The action has already started. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I'm going to pick Joe Moutinho. I call him the third because he can slip into places and cause trouble before opponents can react. Loves to get between the lines and, and then get his head up. A real creative force. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. It's gone! There it is! The movement so precise. The finish sumptuous. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart, and it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. So we have our breakthrough. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. A really good feat from him. Pinged forward. A real chance to break. Success. <laughs> Tries a shot! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. <laughs> Seems now to be all about wits. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Cabasele drives it forward. Looking for space out wide. And that has been clubbed away. Goes. And there we are, off 